So, we all know, ay, mali ang angle. So, good day everyone, and for today's vlog, I'm gonna show you my 3D plant cell model. So, here it is. Okay. Itigil mo muna ang pag-record san. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? ta -da. This one, guys, is made up of styro, hair, styrofoam, yarn, and tissue. Tissue. This one, I covered this with a tissue. So, without further ado, let's tackle this. What is this? It's part and it's function. Ta-da! For a small recap, we all know that prokaryotes are made up of cells and they lack a cell nucleus or any membrane in case cell. One example of a prokaryotic cell is this bacterial cell, this one. So we're gonna tackle its parts down to its functions and I hope you guys will listen well. So stay tuned and... So let's tackle the parts now one by one, starting off with the ribosomes, this small circle here, this. That is what we call the ribosome. So, they are the smallest part of a cell organelle and plays a vital role in protein synthesis as they consist of protein and RNA. They are located freely in the cytoplasm and attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, this one again is the ribosome. So, the next part here is what we call the plasmids. This circle over here is what we call the plasmids. So, they are a small circle of a DNA and plasmids play a vital role in exchanging DNA between the pleural cells. So, pleural cells have many plasmids but I only made one. At least, this is still a plasmid. Next is this. This is what we call the flagellum. This tail here. So what we call the flagellum. So, flagellum are the regurgitating tail. The clockwise rotation moves the cell forward and anti-clockwise rotation helps the cell to spin. The rotation is powered by H plus gradient across the cell membrane. The flagella beat in a purple-like motion to help the bacteria move towards nutrients away from toxic chemicals, or in case of photosynthetic cyanobacteria. Nabulol ako. Cyanobacteria toward the light. Next, this orange layer over here, this orange one, this is what we call the capsule. So, it is composed of thick polysaccharide, and it is kind of a slime layer, which covers the outside of the cell wall, this, and it is used to stick cells together and works as a food reserve and it also protects the cell from dryness and from the chemicals. So once again, this is the capsule. So the next part is what we call the pili, these green spikes over here. They are short appendages which fixes the bacteria to the surfaces. So these pili are smaller than those flagella who are used in conjugation to the exchange of the genetic information. So. Without pili, many diseases causing bacteria to lose their ability to infect because they are unable Pasensya, na naman ako. Unable to untouch the host tissue. So, specialized pili are used for conjugation during which two bacteria exchange fragments of plasmid DNA. So, again, this is what we call the pili. So next is this blue layer over here, this, this one is what we call the cell wall. So it is made from glycoprotein moraine and the cell wall provides strength to the cell and it is permeable to the solute. So each bacterium is enclosed by a rigid cell wall. So the cell wall also gives the cell its shapes, shape here. This cell wall gives the cell its shape. Next is the plasma membrane. This green layer over here is what we call the plasma membrane. This green. 
So it is also known as cell membrane. It is mainly composed of proteins, phospholipids, and carbohydrates, which forms into a fluid mosaic. So plasma membrane surrounds the bacteria, and it is the most important organelle and plays a vital role in controlling the movement of the substances of the cell. So once again, the plasma membrane. So the next one is the cytoplasm so this yellow one here is what we call the cytoplasm this yellow layer here so we call the cytoplasm oh oh alam na nami na cytoplasm yan another one another one so cytoplasm helps in the cellular growth metabolism and replication it is the storehouse for all the types of chemicals and components that are used to sustain the life of the bacterium. So, once again, this yellow part here is what we call the cytoplasm. cytoplasm. So, next is the nucleo nucleoid. nucleoid. Ha ha ha, nabulol na naman po ako. Nucleoid or circular DNA. Okay, so it is the area, this one, this yellow, this pink, I mean this pink here, this one. It is made up of yarn and I rose it with a glue. Wow. So this is the area in the cytoplasm that contains the single bacteria. DNA molecule. So this one contains a DNA molecule and it is not a membrane-bound nucleus but simply an area of the cytoplasm where the strands of DNA can be found. So the strands of DNA can be found here. Most bacteria have a single circular chromosome that is responsible for replication although few species Oh my god! Species do have one, two, or more. So, this violet one over here is what we call the food granules. So, they are the concentrated substances which is located in the cytoplasm and this serves, serves as a nutrient storage. So, this one over here, this violet one. They are what we call the food Bakit ba palagi na lang akong nabubulol? Food granules. So guys, once again, this is my 3D bacterial cell model. And I hope you've learned something from me, from its parts, down to its functions. And I hope you really do learn something from it. And see you in my next video. Bye!